Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on electrochemistry. In previous video, I had discussed about um, like uh, Faraday's laws, the quantitative analysis of electrolysis reactions, uh, particularly the uh, Faraday's L first law of the electrolysis reaction. Now in this session, we are going to discuss about uh, like a Faraday's second law of electrolysis. Faraday second law of electrolysis. So in this kind of in in this session, we have discussed the second law of Faraday again, uh, like a gaseous electrode of the like a quantitative analysis. Now, quantitative aspects of the different different types of reactions. If it is possible, we will discuss the like uh, some other uh, additional uh, observations which are uh, given in Faraday's. Okay, so if it is possible, we will continue that. Now, let us go through the Faraday's law of second law of the electrolysis. Okay, now here, according to the Faraday of this cell electrolysis when the same quantity of electricity the same quantity of electricity passed through and a different electrolytes passed through and a different electrolytes okay so then the ions liberated the ions liberated or deposited at particular electrodes at particular electrodes is directly proportional to the its equivalent weight their equivalent weight their equivalent weights. Okay, this is the like a second law for Faraday's. In first law of the uh, Faraday's, so the amount of substance whether liberated or deposited is directly proportional to the the, uh, the current quantity of the current which is passed through a particular electrolytic solution. Now here they are given in the when the same quantity of electricity passed through a different electrodes. That means uh, here more than one. So more simply it is two or more than two electrolytic shells are present two or more than two electrolytic cells are present now let us assume that here it is the one of the electrolyte now here it is also another electrolyte so here it is a, like a anode cathode like a anode cathode okay so these these type of electrodes which are dipped in different type of electrolytes that is a different different solution okay now here also it is also dipped in different L electrolytes now let us assume here the solution is copper sulfate if the solution is a is silver sulfate a is two so four okay so let us assume here it is the silver corresponding silver cation copper cation solution copper cation and the silver cation electrolytes so it may be sometimes these two are it may be connected to the like a salt bridge those two cathodes will appear so like left side and the right side of the two electrodes okay so that may be another another more another connection of the series okay now however these two are connected in the like an uh, it is in a battery okay which is connected to the battery again which is connected to the uh, circuit here it is this switch so again these these uh, th uh, these connections uh, which are uh, connected in a like a uh, ammeter so which is directly connected to the our uh, like a uh, circuit this is the circuit of the uh, like a uh, flow of the current flow of the current which is started over here okay so these two are connected to each other these two are connected in a series so this is the simple set setup of the like a, a different electrochemical cells okay now in this connection so here it is the copper sulf copper sulfate solution and silver sulfate solution so whatever the solution doesn't matter so now whenever we will we will switch on the circuit uh, just 10 minutes okay so then we will pause the current uh, on these two different electrolytes uh, the same quantity of current uh, if first first electrolyte which passed through the five uh, five amperes now the second is same five amperes so the same quantity of uh, electricity same quantity of electricity and same quantity of sorry same time of the electricity 
as well as the time. So electricity and time is the same for the two different electrolytes, two different electrolytes. In previous case like that, here it is the like liberation takes place of that liberated ions which is placed at the like a cathode. Now here also the liberated ion which is coated at the like a cathode, cathode rod. Okay, so now these 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 experiment which can calculated by the our weighing machine. So before that, let us assume before the electrolysis. Before the electrolysis, the rod of like a A it is an electrolyte A, so it is an electrolyte B. So now the cathode weight is A cathode weight is like a fifty five. Like let us assume here it is the fifty grams. Now here it is the almost all fifty or fifty five. What about the uh, observations here it is the 50 now the uh, electrode B the cathode of uh, B electrolyte it is also 50 okay now after some time after some time so here like after uh, circulating the current of the two electrolytes uh, now we will switch off the our circuit after 10 minutes we will get the like a certain uh, coated cathode coated cathode again we will weighing those we will confirm we will find those uh, weights of uh, cathodes so after electrolysis, so the cathode weight uh, approximately that is equal to the 81.75, closer to the 81.75. Now the B silver electrolyte uh, which is closer to the like 163, almost all like a 158, not 163, it is 158. So these are the approximate values. These are the approximate values. So this indicates now the quantity of same quantity of electricity passed through different electrolytes in a particular span of time. So the quantity of liberated or deposited. Now in this case we are discussing about only deposited. So the deposited amount, the deposited amount of a substance which is directly proportional to the its equivalent weight, which is directly proportional to the its equivalent weight. So now let us confirm that whether it is it is a deposited. Uh, its corresponding equivalent weight or not okay now here so the amount of quantity which is deposited at the cathode is uh, like after electricity by minus before electricity that means uh, 81.75 minus 50 almost all 31.75 so here it is uh, coated of the coated of the like a uh, metal which is on uh, cathode particular cathode is 31.5 so here almost all one, 108 it almost all 198. So this is 31.75. So this is approximately closer value to the copper, copper plus two equivalent weight, 198 of the silver equivalent weight. So we know that. So copper almost all uh, its molecular weight is 63 point something, 63.5. So then copper plus two means uh, equivalent weight. Uh, so molecular weight by its number of ions, that is the cation. So by two here it is 63.3. 63.5 by 2 is equal to 31.75. So this is the equivalent weight of copper. So now here silver, only one ion, that's why 108 by 108. So here it is the equivalent weight of silver ion. Now these two, these two experiments which, are, which is class, cla clarified that, so the statement of the second law of the Faraday's. So now let us conclude, let us summarize this statement. When the same quantity of electricity passed through in a different electrolytes, these two are the different electrolytes. So then the ions liberated or deposited at the particular cathodes, the ions liberated or deposited at particular electrodes is directly proportional to the its equivalent weight. It's directly proportional to the its equivalent weight. That is the second law of the Faraday. Second law of the Faraday. Now let us uh, go through the like equation part. So here it is the simplest representation of um, Faraday's second law setup. Okay. So this is the experimental value. Now the formula method of the like a uh, second law of the Faraday. So simply, weight is uh, the amount of substance deposited or liberated is directly proportional to its equivalent weight. So now we we are taking about uh, like two uh, two or more than two different electrolytes. That's why so we decided that uh, here it is the let us assume here it is the like two different types of uh, electrolytes are present. That is W1 directly proportional to the E1. So W2 E directly proportional to the E2. These are the first and second equation. So from first and second equations, so the here W1 by W E1 is the, the both are directly proportional to here. W2 is and the E2 is the also directly proportional to from one and two. So W1 by W2 is equal to the E1 by E2. 
So this is the like a uh, second law of the Faraday. This is the second law of the Faraday. So now here W1 is the like according to the first law of the Faraday, W1 is equal to E into like uh, Z into IT. Z into capital I into T or small i or capital I doesn't matter. So here it is the from first law. It is it is came from the first law of Faraday. So now here W1 means here I and I and T are same, both are constant values, but Z is the different. That's why W1 is equal to Z1 into I2. So W2 is equal to Z2 into I2. So these two values substituted over there. Now here Z1 into I T by Z2 into I T is equal to E1 by E2. E1 by E2. Here Current and time, uh, time is constant, that's why they both cancel to each other. Now here, Z1 by Z2 is equal to E1 by E2. Z1 by Z2 is equal to E1 by E2. So this equation states that. Now here, we will we will uh, like uh, derive the, this equation from W is directly proportional to the E. So in similarly, here Z is directly proportional to the E. Z is directly proportional to the E. So, a directly proportionality which is equal to the sum Faraday, which is equal to the like a sum Faraday. So, now here simply E is directly proportional to the Z. E is directly proportional to the Z. So, E is equal to some constant into Z, Faraday into Z. Now, Z is equal to E by M. So, these formulae which are used in our like uh, previous classes, I think in Faraday first law, so we used Z is equal to equivalent weight by Faraday. So, here Faraday value is equal to 96,500 coulombs. Approximately here, exact value is 96,487. Okay, not 486 point something, that's why it is around of the, like, so 96,487. But uh, many of the, like, problems on the numericals, we are used the 96,500 only, 96,500. So, here Z is equal to E by F. So that E is equal to equivalent, E is equal to equivalent weight. So F is equal to Faraday. F is equal to Faraday. These are the formulas which are used in the like Faraday second law. So now here Z is equal to E by F. Now Z is directly proportional to the E. So simply from the, this equation E by Z is equal to always constant value. E by Z is equal to, that is a con constant value. E by Z always it is a, it gives a constant value. So that's why these are the <coughs> like a simple formulas which are helpful for to solving the numericals and corresponding Faraday second law methods. Faraday second law type of the problems. Now let us go through the Some other things which are helpful to solve the like uh, quantitative aspects of the electrolysis. Quantitative aspects of the electrolysis. Before going to the quantitative aspects of the electrolysis reaction, let us summarize the first and second law of the equations. Okay, so now here W is equal to Z into I into T. So this is the first law of the equation, first law of the Faraday equation. Now here W1 by W2 is equal to W like E1 E1 by E2 is the second law of the equation which is available from the second law of the equation. Okay. Now we, from the same equation we are uh, defined the e, that is equal to E by F. This is the third most important equation. So from these three equations uh, the combining the first and the second law combining the first and the second law of the Faraday's. So now we will get the W is equal to Z into I into T. So here Z is equal to E by F into I into T. E by F into I into T. So which are uh, already uh, derived in previous lecture. Okay. Now W is equal to E by F. That means uh, here molecular weight by uh, like Z factor into Faraday into I into T. So these are the uh, golden formulas which are helpful for the solving the numerical type of problems in IIT JE as well as a neat problem, neat oriented exam. Okay, so uh, different questions came from the, these type of uh, like a quantitative aspects of the our electrolysis reactions, our electrolysis reactions. These are the very helpful formulas. Okay, sometimes uh, in Faraday second law we are connected the like more than two electrolytes. Here it is these two are connected, these two are connected. Here it is the liberation takes place. Okay, so now uh, almost all these are connected through a circuit with the help of batteries and ammeter. Now, so here it is the A, B, C. So now here W1 is to W2 is to W3 is equal to the E1 is to E2 is to E3. So this is the simplest representation. From this, so A is equal to the C. A is equal to the C. That means uh, W1 by W3 is equal to E1 by E3. So we can conclude that. Uh, so 1 and 3 or B and C. 
So W two by W three is equal to E two by E three. So it is also made for, made for it. Or one and three. So we have discussed one and three. Or like a two and three. It is also over like one and two. W one by W two is equal to E one by E two. So we can conclude these type of formulas. More than more than two electrolytes are used in second law of the Faraday method. Second law of the Faraday method. So now let us con uh, conclude that the quantitative aspects of electrolysis reaction. <coughs> okay. Now the quantitative. Now the quantitative aspects of uh, electrolysis reactions, electrolysis uh, reactions. So now in uh, in previous classes we have discussed the one mole of electrons passed through. That means one mole of electrons carried by the some amount of electricity that is called one Faraday. Okay. So one mole of electrons carried by some charge, carried by charge. charge of uh, one mole of electron simply charge of one mole of electron carried is equal to the one faraday that is equal to the 96500 coulombs 96500 coulombs okay so this is our previous discussion i think i uh, i i'll explain the very clear cut explanation on the these type of methods so how it is came from the like a basic values from the like a uh, mass of the electron into something avogadro number of the electrons okay so now In this connection here, the charge of one mole of electrons is equal to the ninety-six thousand five hundred coulombs. That is nothing but uh, one Faraday. So if any number of that means n number of electrons involved in the reaction, involved in the particular uh, electrolytic reaction, that means uh, here it is used uh, n number of uh, n Faradays, n number of quantity of electricity of the Faradays. So if one number of one mole of electrons are used then one faraday so two mole of electrons are used then it is used two faradays three mole of electrons are used then it is gives rise to the fa uh, three faradays then n n number of moles of electrons are used then it is n faraday of the electrons that is equal to the n into 96500 coulombs so here it is the total quantity of the current uh, total quantity of the current Which are used in the like in a single electrolytic cell. This is the simplest thing regarding to the quantitative aspect. Now here, the total thing is uh, mainly dependent on the two two things. One is the number of the quantity of electricity passed through a particular electrolyte according to the first law of uh, first law of the Faraday. Now the second thing, the number of electrons, the number of moles of electrons which are involved in the electrochemical reaction. Okay, so based on that, uh, we will come from that here one Faraday. That is equal to the ninety-six thousand five hundred coulombs, or one mole of electrons. One mole of electrons will reduce. Will reduce simply one mole of monovalent cation. One mole of monovalent cation. Is it okay? So it reduces one mole of monovalent cation. One mole of one monovalent cation. Okay. So now. One by two mole of, like one by two, one by second. So half of, and a divalent cation, one divalent cation, divalent cation. So one by third of, and a trivalent cation, trivalent cation. So like one by fourth of, and a tetravalent cation. So we are not observed that this type of tetravalent cations in our electrochemical reaction. Simply one by n of. And uh, n nth valent of cation, nth valent of corresponding cation. So these are the very simple quantitative aspects which are helpful in uh, our electrochemical relations. Okay, so this is the quantitative aspects of the electrolysis reaction. Now, finally, we have discussed about uh, like uh, and gaseous electrolytic uh, products of the electrolysis reaction. Now, finally, I conclude that uh, uh, the final thing of gaseous electrolytes. Now, the final thing is. Gaseous electrolytic product. Gaseous electrolytic products. Now, in this case of a gaseous electrolytic product, the formula is V is equal to V is equal to I into T into 
VE by Faraday. VE by Faraday simply it is a which is available from the like gaseous electrodes. Now here V is equal to volume of electrolyte uh, at a particular STP value at a particular electrode. Okay, VE is equal to equivalent value. V is equal to equivalent volume. So now here the equivalent volume of the equations. Uh, we are discussing some of the example. Now here oxygen is equal oxygen. Its molecular weight is. Uh, 32 and the equivalent weight is equal to 8. That means here 4 electrons are uh, transferred in this case of the, these type of reactions. That's why 32 by 4 is equal to 8. So here, like a 1, 1 mole of O2 is equal to the 32 grams at STP. 32, 32 grams of STP, simply 32 grams of O2 which is equal to the 22.4 of liters at STP value, at STP. Okay. So now, then 8 grams of uh, O2 at the like 5.6 liters at STP. That means uh, here it is the equivalent weight. Z factor is 4. Z factor is 4. So Z factor, which is uh, divided by the Z factor, now we will get the at the equivalent value. So now here equivalent volume is equal to 5.6 liters. 5.6 liters. So since similarly Cl2 is equal to the molecular weight of Cl2 approximately 71 here equivalent uh, is equal to 35.5. 35.5 here. Th 71 grams of uh, Cl2 is, is equal to the 22.4 liters at atmospheres. So at a, a particularly STP, at a particular STP. Now here, like a 35.5 grams of uh, O2, sorry, it is a Cl2. So here 11.2 liters at STP. So here VE is equal to 11.2 liters. So based on these calculations, we use the VE. So with the help of VE, we are find the V value, that is volume of electrolyte at a particular gaseous electrode, so at a particular uh, STP value, at a particular STP value. That's all for this video. This is very helpful for the like uh, IITJ and the mains students. So it is also useful for the NEET as well as local MSET students. Okay. So thank you so much for watching.